Hello, thanks guys for checking out my video today. So I wanted to make this short video because it's a video that I would have really wanted um, starting out with training, okay? There's so much um, information online when you're just starting out, you go online, you're trying to find the best way for training to, to build a much, as much muscle as possible, as quickly as possible. Um, but when you go on there, it's, you know, there's information, people saying you should train like this, people saying you should train like that. Um, so it can become very, very confusing. I remember doing that myself when I was when I was just starting out a few years back, um, looking online and trying to find it the best way, and I, and it was just very confusing. There was so much information on there. So I wanted to make this video today just to try and make it much more simple for you guys to understand. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to talk you through um, what I do, my training process, um, and and how I've managed to achieve my results. But I'm also going to break down the science for you, okay? So I'm going to be um, breaking down science from a guy called Dr. Brad Schoenfeld. This guy is the, the godfather when it comes to hypertrophy, when it comes to muscle building. Okay, so this guy's written thousands and thousands and thousands of articles. Um, he's done more research than anybody else on the planet about, about how to build muscle and the best way to build muscle. So what I'm going to do is I've, I've dissected his, his studies for you, his research for you, and I've broken it down into a little, little bundle that you guys can understand and you can start implementing it into your routine and really get a better understanding of how you can build muscle uh, more efficiently. Okay guys, so before you start thinking about rep range, weight for each exercise, that type of thing, absolutely number one, the first thing you wanna be thinking about is form and technique. Proper technique with each exercise is absolutely essential. Okay, this is gonna ensure that you don't hurt yourself when you're, you're going and adding on more weight and more weight over time, it's likely over time that you will hurt yourself. So if you do that, you're gonna be out the gym, you're gonna be injured, you're gonna be out the gym and you're not gonna be able to train, okay, and make zero progress. So I would absolutely stress that you go and see a personal trainer, see a professional trainer who knows what they're talking about, who can take you through proper technique first, okay? That's absolutely number one. So once you do this, we're gonna go through these four aspects of training that you can then start looking into more and focus on. And once you focus on these four things and, and concentrate on these, thing, these things over time, then you will absolutely see really, really good results. Okay, so firstly, I want to talk about training volume. Training volume is your, the total workload that you do for each exercise. So it's your sets times reps times weight. Okay, that's gonna be your work volume. This is gonna be the key driver to hypertrophy. Dr. Brad Schoenfeld found in his study that you could do up to, up to 30 sets and still continue to build muscle. So he discovered that hypertrophy was based around training volume, okay? You're gonna get more hypertrophy through increasing volume over time. Now, that said, you don't want to be going anywhere near that 30, 30 set limit. He's talked about that in his study. He says ceiling he would recommend up to 20 sets, even lower, I would say. So somewhere between 15 and 16 sets you can work up to over a long period of time. Now, if you're a beginner trainer, you want to be starting somewhere around about six sets per week. Okay, so if you're to do hitting the muscle group two times per week, you're three sets of each time. That's to start. This is going to give your body enough time to adapt to the training stimulus and grow over time. You don't want to be seeing this as something that happens really, really quickly or trying to rush the process because you're just gonna injure yourself and you're gonna overtrain and burn your body out really, really quickly. So it's something you want to build up to over time. I personally do probably at the moment around about 14 to 16 sets per muscle group per week, okay? So it's taken me six, seven years to get up to that point. So you really wanna be taking your time and seeing this as a slow process. So when it comes to training volume, you want to start with your six sets per week and then slowly over time, so week by week, you can stay with, with, with you know, the six sets and increase the weight as much as you can to start with. So increasing the weights um, slowly instead of increasing sets is, is still going to increase your training volume. Now with that said, you don't want to just be increasing your volume, increasing your volume all the time. Dr. Brad Schoenfeld discovered that subjects that increased volume continuously actually ended up burning themselves out and not seeing very good results. So the, the subjects who increased volume over time, so somewhere between three to six weeks, increased volume, so either sets or reps, and then did what's called a deload, so decreased the volume for a while, and then went back up and increased the volume more than they were before, actually saw far better um, hypertrophy results than the, the subjects who just continuously try to increase volume over time. So you want to be training in more of what's a wave-like manner over time. This is gonna give you far, far better hypertrophy results um, than it would if you just continue to, to increase volume um, and eventually, like I said before, you're just gonna burn out. Now, when it comes to rep ranges, you've got to understand that the muscles have two different types of fibers. So we've got type one fibers and type two fibers. Now, type one fibers respond much, much better to lighter weight and higher repetitions. 
Type 2 fibres respond better to heavy weight and lower repetitions. So what Brad Schoenfeld discovered again is in order to hit the, the fibres completely, we don't want to just be really staying into one rep range low or into the high range. We want to be trying to undulate the range again, just like we did with volume. So we want to be doing some heavy, heavy sets, but we also want to be doing some um, lighter sets in there as well. So a good way to do this through the training is actually maybe to start off with some heavy, he heavier sets at the beginning and then slowly um, drop the weight and increase the volume as you train, increase the, the repetitions as you train. Okay, so this is going to ensure that you're hitting the muscle fibers, um, type 1 and type 2, and this is going to be much better for total, off, uh, total um, hypertrophy. Now, when it comes to training intensity for building muscle, so how hard you need to work to build muscle, Dr. Brad Schoenfeld discovered that you definitely need a really, really high level of effort. That's without question, okay? So personally, what I've done over the years is I've always taken every set to within one to two reps of failure, okay? Again, going back to form, make sure your form's in place before you start thinking about training intensity and taking sets to failure. But I personally have always taken sets to within one to two, two reps of failure, okay? This is ensured that I'm, I'm pushing and working hard enough to, um, to elicit growth. Now, Brad Schoenfeld doesn't recommend doing every set um, like that. What he would say is doing the first, if you're doing four sets, doing the first three sets, one to two short, one to two reps short of failure. And then on the last set, try and push that to complete failure. So if you were doing your heavy work first, like we talked about, then you would slowly um, decrease the load, but you're going to be increasing the repetitions and also taking that last set to as close to failure as you possibly can using good form. When we talk about recovery for building muscle, this is gonna be absolutely essential, okay? When we go into the gym, we're breaking down the muscle fibers. So we need to allow that time to, for the muscle fibers to repair and rebuild before we go back into the gym and break them down again, okay? People who don't see good progress are usually the people who will hit the same muscle group six, seven days a week, and they're just, basically what they're doing is they're spinning the wheels. They're breaking the muscle fibers down. They're not giving their body enough um, time to repair and rebuild. So I always recommend at least 24 hours, ideally 48 to even 72 hours to allow your body to repair and heal completely before you go back in and break that muscle down again. Now, you want to be also concentrating on good quality sleep. So anywhere between sort of seven to nine hours, okay? If you're short of that, you're just not gonna give yourself again the, the, the rest time that your body needs to allow it to repair and recover. Nutrition as well is key. So making sure your nutrition is, place, is in place. I've talked about that in previous videos as well. So if you want to learn a bit more about nutrition and a good way um, to eat for building muscle, you can check out my other videos, okay? If you find anything that I've said today, guys, a little bit complicated or you're just a bit unsure, then please drop it in the comment, a question in the comments down below and I'll get right back to you as soon as I can. I've tried to keep this video as simple as I possibly can. Like I said, I've, I've broken down the, the, the science from Dr. Brad Schoenfeld as, as best I possibly can. He's written thousands of articles, um, but it's, it's, I've just tried to keep it as simple as, as, as I possibly can for you guys, where you can start implementing it into your um, training and hopefully start seeing, seeing much better results. Okay, so this is, as I said, it can be a very, very complicated process. Um, if you go and look online, you'll see a thousand different um, Think, uh, ways of, of building muscle but these for me are just the key um, aspects and if you stick to these things that I've talked about today then I guarantee you will see really good results over time. Guys I hope you enjoyed this video and found it helpful if you did be sure to leave it a thumbs up make sure you subscribe to my channel down below as I'm going to be releasing regular videos just like this to help you guys out. Thanks!